All right, guys, we got some more cases. A ton of cases here from Rinky. We're going to go through each one, check them out. All of these cases here on the table are right between 16 and 17 bucks. So very inexpensive cases. But you guys know if you follow the channel, I've reviewed a ton of Rinky stuff in the past, and they're all good quality, especially for the price. So we're going to jump in, check them out. I got one, two, three, four, five cases. Plus, they even sent this little hand and shoulder strap for your phone because these do have lanyard spots for them. And we also have which you can see I've already opened this guy up. This is a lens frame for the glass. So a little extra protection if we want to use these for our camera lenses. And these are actually pretty cool. I'll show you how that works in a little bit. But for now, guys, if you're new here, hit that like, drop a sub. But let's check out Rinky's brand new lineup of cases for the S23 Ultra. Now I do have the graphite color here for the S23 Ultra. And we're going to start, we'll just start right here. This is the Fusion case and again all these cases are going to be around 16 17 bucks now this is the fusion the matte smoke black the eco packaging on here you guys know how rinky does it we always get some extra protective film removal guide in here and then of course it's kind of like a catalog for some of their stuff and you get a little discount and as you can see here polycarbonate build on these cases and we'll take this plastic off and I believe there's one, yes, there's one on the inside as well. Let's get rid of this guy. That smoke black on there, that thing looks good. So TPU rubber on the edge with the polycarbonate back on here, the precise cutouts here, the lanyard spots here on the sides of the cases, the precise, cut, precise cutouts on the bottom. And these lanyard spots are called Duo Quick Catch Lanyard Holes. Now these, of course, will support wireless charging. And, of course, there's enough room to put a screen protector on here. But let's just see how this... That's a nice color, that smoke black. That's pretty dope. I do like that color. Look how clean that looks with the graphite S23 Ultra. And look how clean those lenses look inside of that camera spot or the camera cutout here for this case. Look, that looks really good, in my opinion. Let me know. Ooh, that's a clean case. Now the exact cutouts on the bottom. Let's see how easy it is. So plenty of room here to get your S Pen out. Of course, a lot of times with cases, that can be a little more difficult depending on what case it is. This is a very nice case. Wow. This might be one of my new favorite cases. I love how clean that looks in the back. You can still see the Samsung branding here on the phone, but a very nice looking case, and it feels good in the hand. It does, a lot of that TPU rubber, some of those cases... They feel a little cheap, but this has that polycarbonate back on it, so it doesn't feel like that rubber back. Just decides to give you that extra grip, but I do like that case. That's I almost wish I opened up that last because this it's a nice case. Now, you can see the clean side, so it's kind of clear on the sides of the case, but that back has that smoked finish to it, which I do really like. It goes really well in my opinion, with the Graphite Color S23 Ultra. Now we will check out the S23 Clear. So the Fusion case here, this is the clear case. So basically the same thing, but just a clear case. So we'll see if there's any difference in how I feel about how this looks on the S23 Ultra. It's going to be hard to beat that first one. Not going to lie, it's going to be really difficult to beat that, but we'll see. We shall see. So it's going to be pretty much the same case, just clear. So you can see that does look good. Okay, it looks good. I do like the other one better, but I love what they did here and how clean that looks. The lenses are perfectly cut out there. The bigger hole here for the flash overall it looks really good, but I do like the smoked one better. Just a little different look between the two here, but we get that polycarbonate back. And then the sides are going to be clear, of course. Good fit on here, of course. And which one should we do next? Next, we are going to do the Camo Black. So this is the Fusion X Camo Black. Again, all these cases are right around 17 bucks. I've always liked this style of case from Rinky, this Camo finish on here. Really cool. Now, these buttons are... Again, just like the other two cases, we get the buttons that are covered, and I haven't checked how clicky the buttons still are.
but we're going to check it right now. So actually, no film or adhesive to take off. Oh, there is one on the inside here. But there's nowhere to pick it up from. There's no edge to pick this up, unfortunately. It's a little weird. There's nothing to grab onto to remove that film on the inside. Let's see if we can get it off. No, nope, for now, I'm just going to leave it on. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but we'll throw the phone in here. Now, I love the look of this case. Sometimes these cases do feel a little bulky to me, but look how good that looks with that matte fusion look because it is a black and a gray fusion look on here, a black and a gray camo on here to go with the graphite color S23 Ultra. That looks good. The cutouts here are a little different. This is going to give you a little bit more drop protection compared to the other cases we looked at already. We have some corners here that are raised up, and you can tell there's some hard rubber all the way around the edges of this case. So this will definitely give you more protection than, say, the TPU rubber case here. This is a little cleaner, a little more minimalistic, not as thick as this, but this will give you that added bit of drop protection and just an overall cool look. Let me know what you think of this camo. Man, these look good on this graphite color S23. You know, let me know if you have the graphite color or what color you did choose. I was torn between this and the green color. Some days I feel like I should have got the green. And other days, like right now, I'm happy with my choice because I do really think the graphite color looks just nice. This is the Air Galaxy S23 Ultra. So this is basically a TPU rubber case. The difference between these two cases right here, this is clear, but this does have the polycarbonate back where this is just a flexible TPU rubber case. So if you don't want something that's a little, this is not as rigid as the other case, but still a clean case. These, you know, out of all the cases, just the basic TPU rubber cases, they're not my favorite. I, I really ever, rarely ever use a case like that on any of my devices. Now this is the Onyx, the black color Onyx case. So we'll check this out. Frankie always does give us some nice choices, right? Choices are good. Now, this is a solid black case, right? TPU rubber case, but there's a texture on the back. If you guys can see that, there's a texture on the back of this case that will help with the grip. And of course, all the buttons. Let's see how these buttons are. So the buttons are fairly clickable. Not bad at all. Not difficult to click on. And then, of course, the cutouts again on the back. I do love what they did with these cases as the look of the cutouts go. And again, the lanyard spots. Now, we do have some grip and some texture here along the edges of this case to help give us that grip when you're holding it. It's going to help you not slip. It's going to help not slip out of your hand. With that, of course, the precise cutouts. Now, in all these cases, we do have a tiny bit of protection when we drop it face down. If you drop it face down, you will have a bit of protection. Of course, pick yourself up a screen protector for your device, and that will not be an issue. This feels good in the hand, actually. This case does really feel good in the hand. But like I said originally in the video, this first case is by far my favorite case that I have here today. But again, all these cases right around 16, 17 bucks for these cases. And now we're just gonna take a look real quick and I'm gonna show you guys, let's clear some of this stuff out of here. I'm gonna show you the camera lens frame that they do have here. I already did play with it and it comes like this. And what these are, little additions here, little buttons basically, that you're gonna be able to put on your cameras to give it, they snap right on. So this is gonna snap. That snaps on. And this will snap on to the top. And they do, it does come with the cleaning cloth but you can see, can you see the difference in that? Let me try and get a close-up of this. We'll take this off. See how that just comes off? It just snaps onto the lens as we get dog hair on. If you got dogs, you guys know. And this will snap on to give it a little more protection on your camera lens. So interesting, pretty cool. Let's try it with the case on. Now, I know there's only two on there, but let's see 
how it fits inside of the case. Perfectly snug inside of the case. Definitely some added protection for your lenses. And I will say this, that's not a bad idea because the S23 Ultra, you see how that popped off when I took the case off? The S23 Ultra does have some fantastic, this is the best camera setup, best camera system that I've seen on a Samsung device up to this point. But let me know which case out of all these is your favorite. You guys already know what mine is. But well, that's it, guys. Just another video checking out some Rinky cases. And shout out to Rinky for sending these out to review. Not paid for at all. They didn't ask me to say anything. You guys will see this before they do. That's it. Just some new dope and affordable cases from Rinky for the S23 Ultra. Hit that like. Drop a sub. I'll be back soon. Peace.